Hey everyone, Eric here. Thanks so much for stopping by our channel. In this video, we'll be discussing trellises, how to make them, and the ones that we have in our garden. Thank you to those that have stopped by for the first time. Make sure before you leave to subscribe, like this video, comment, share, and don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified when we drop new videos, which is every single week. To those that have already subscribed and you're back again, thanks for stopping by. We do want to shout out our new subscriber, K Shea Wash. Thanks so much for subscribing. If you're ready to get into the video, let's do it. There are two main types of trellises here in the school garden that we have established for the different plants that we're growing. So the trellis that you see me installing right now, this is our vertical trellis. Technically, both of the trellises that we have in the garden are um, considered to be vertical trellises because they use the vertical space. However, comma, this trellis has a flat panel that the tomatoes that you see can climb up on and lean on and put their weight onto. And the materials that we use for this process was a um, pole driver, which is that gray piece of metal that you saw in my hand previously, some zip ties to connect the wire fencing to the T-posts. And these T-posts are about eight feet, but by putting them in the ground, they measure out to about six and a half to seven feet. But that's still a, a lot of space for our tomatoes to trellis on and to grow and to um, use as a, um, a wall of sorts so that they, one, don't crawl on the ground, which will prevent a lot of diseases and a lot of immediate um, damage from pests. Like, of course, throughout the season, throughout the summer, the pests and the disease will attack our plants, but this just allows our plants to have a better foundation for when they're growing. So one tip when growing tomatoes specifically on a vertical trellis that you need to know is to maintain a schedule of pruning your tomato plants. So if you didn't know, tomato plants have little armpits, <laughs> I like to call them armpits, but they have armpits and in these armpits grow more tomatoes. So the greenery that comes from the tomato can produce another tomato plant. So you want to be removing those suckers is what you see me doing here. I'm removing the suckers that have already started to grow. Um, and at this point, the suckers were starting to produce new flowers and more leaves. And so I just had to remove them um, because they were going to start to weigh down on the bottom of the trellis. So just take that as a note that when you're using a vertical trellis in your garden you want to make sure that you are continuing to prune 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 your tomatoes so building out this arched trellis is really a two-person job unfortunately i wasn't able to um, gain anybody's assistance for this particular day that I was in the garden. So, you know, I had to do what I had to do and get the job done. It took a well, quite a while to get it done because we have four T-posts in all. They're both, they are all four feet tall and I had to do two for each side with this wire fencing that was already curved because that's just how it comes when you purchase it from the store. So, you know, it took quite a while. And what I did first was the backside and 
attach the T-post to the wire fencing and the T-post and then I did the other side and in a minute you're going to see the finished product with the cantaloupes that we have in the garden already starting to climb on them. This is our, um, what would you call it? Our like squash, cucurbit, trellis that we made. All of this material is repurposed. We've already had the trellis material in the greenhouse. And these, I believe these are like four feet tall T-posts that we also had in the greenhouse. And so to keep a lot of the foliage off of the ground so that bugs don't have immediate access to the fruits, like this cantaloupe here that is growing, most of the cantaloupes will grow, like you see that one, along the trellis. And the way squash normally grow, they are vine, so they have these tendrils on different parts of the actual vine and they will just wrap around like here. They'll wrap around like a finger and just clamp on tight and they'll continue that process until the plant is fully dead. So on here we'll have cucumbers coming from this side and the cantaloupes coming from this side. A tip though, when you're growing on a trellis, a trellis arch, you wanna make sure that once your fruit gets to this size, if it's hanging on the trellis going vertically, you want to make sure that you use some type of like mesh netting or um, like a pantyhose that you can get from like Walmart or Target for very cheap. And you want to make sure that you tie it because once the fruit that you're growing is large enough, it's going to weigh down the vine and it's also, also going to weigh down the trellis as a whole. So make sure that you do that. <laughs> 